Hey everybody out there on YouTube, thanks for viewing this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel for further content, go ahead and do that. And on this video, as well as my others, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Go ahead and leave me some good comments and suggestions about your opinions, of course. And that's what we all do, right? Well, today, I have... Ta <laughs> <laughs> the new Headrush Prime. It's been out for three months approximately, and I've seen reviews. Of course, plenty of them. I've seen people doing their own little uh, tone reviews as well as tutorial. There's one guy I started following. He's young. I don't know how young. I'm guessing 24, 25, yeah, 24 or 25. I mean, maybe he's older. He just looks that age. But I mean, he he he's, he's does tutorial specifically, that's what he claiming he's going to start doing for this device alone. He also gets his own feedback as a consumer on what, how to improve it. Apparently, yeah, when I was looking for this, well, yeah, not this one, but the Amazon, I mean, the Headrush unit alone last year, you know, like, what's going on? Like, they're out sold. So I ended up getting me that um, Roland yeah, Roland, Roland, Roland. I don't know if it's Roland or Roland. I can't remember. No, it's Roland, I think. Uh, Boss GT1000. And that is a great unit. I mean, anyone that wanted to try them out for authenticity of um, uh, tube, tube feel sound, I mean, it, it, you know, you can tell it's digital. Well, I can. But it's like, wow, it does have a response like a tube amp. So that was a great device, but I wanted this. I wanted to match with my um, Headrush 1x12. Now I'll eventually give me two of them, maybe three, but maybe just two, because I want to have stereo with this, and then I play my drums in the other room. Of course, that's my music room. This is my bedroom here, and this is where the table's at. I started opening this, and I thought, well, I need to do a video about this. This is a video, not only really, I can't say review, but it's an unboxing, and then it's also my reaction. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what did I just drop by? <laughs> so, let's do this. Open this bad baby up. See how good they actually Uh oh. Let me move you down here and I'll knock you on the ground. Already, the package looks pretty neat, clean. Like there's no um, styrofoam. Well, there's a little piece. I have styrofoam. A little piece of styrofoam. That looks good. Pretty good exacto knife or utility knife. Box cutter. One of my brothers bought this for me for my birthday. I think it was. How you open it, you got this little switch here. You pull that back, then release. And you got this right here. Right? Goes up. This locks. Oh, it's supposed to be locked. It's old. There it goes. Well, it locks. And this is how you release the actual razor blade. And then you put a new one in back in and locks that. But you can't close this, right? So if you try to close this. It's locked because this is open. So you got to make sure that's closed. I just thought if y'all wanted to get something like that, this is a Husky. Husky brand. So I like it. I mean, I, I was doing some stuff with him when he was doing his carpentry working. And I needed one, and he just decided to get me one of these. Like, cool. I already opened that. I don't think I don't need this anymore. Just in case you're ready. All right. So apparently, is it backwards? This is the knobs. Oh, I got it facing me. It talks about the cardboard. That's pretty neat in here. Of course, paperwork. I always keep it. I never really read it. Nobody really does. But I keep it for reference in case I do need it. Put that over on the 
desk over there. And oh god, let's move this out of the way. Oh god. So actually we got a USB. I don't know, it's, it's USB, but it's um your um, printer modem. I mean printer cable. I can't think of the technical term, I don't remember. <laughs> You got one of these, it's pretty good. That's what I have. I don't need that right now. Oh man. I know y'all just excited just as I am. But I'm taking my time as we got to in life. You gotta take your time to do things right. I mean, being for the computer, it's just a generic one. I mean, it's just the basic. Like, I guess for laptop, if you had a close, that's, that's two feet or well, three feet, you see. Oh, this longer than three feet, but still. About maybe three and a half feet long, looked at the door here. <laughs> like here to here would be the door length, and you got the extra, so maybe it's a three foot, I don't know, 3.3 feet. It's not long enough if you actually have a tower computer like I do. Because I've done laptops in the past, and as a video gamer, graphic video gamer, really, to play Division 2, I should do videos on Division, because man, I am killing them right now. I'm level 1,120 or something like that. Been playing since I think October of 2022. No, was it 2021? Yeah. No, it was 2022. I started playing. My sister got actually got me into the game. The game. She played Division One on PlayStation Five or Four, or whatever it is. Maybe it was Four. And then she started playing Division Two, and she told me the difference, and she didn't like one. Just the mechanics of it, but yeah, and I got into Division Two with PC, and I've been playing every day ever since. A few hours a day, six hours a day, two hours a day. Sometimes I'll just go back, play two hours, rest in the morning after I play a bit, and then I go back on after I eat lunch or whatever, or got something to do, and I'm just on. I don't have to do much because I'm blessed. <laughs> Anyways. Back to this one. Oh man, it's fucking heavy! Oh my god, this is heavier than it feels like in the box! Just trying to pull it. Oh my god. Can I? <laughs> it really is there. It was in there. <laughs> wow! You could beat somebody with this thing and they would die. <laughs> wow, man. Ooh, I guess the silicone for freshness in here. You know what? Yeah, I don't know if I might keep the box for a little bit. No, I have a case, but I don't know if it'll fit. Let me go get that in a moment. Let's see if my boss backpack that went for the GT1000, if this might fit. I don't think it will. It's too tall. Way too tall. Damn, that fucker's heavy. Oh my god, it's so fucking heavy. And that, that one kid was talking about adding some. Uh, hooks here to protect all this plastic stuff back here, but it's like, dude, damn, like really they would help out, but I guess you're just a clumsy musician and drunk or something if you can't be careful and, and, and careless person, you can't be careful of other people's stuff all your own. $1,300 for this, this thing. Sheesh. That's a lot of money for a computer. <laughs> well, maybe it's better than a computer, because it does music. <laughs> maybe a computer does music. Well, you gotta buy programs. My ah, computer's better. This still a thirteen hundred. This is like a super phone or something. I mean, a super guitar processor. That kid, I don't remember his name. Hmm. Great. Snow over here. This smells like, I don't know, the plastic or something. I guess they tried it. Ooh, damn, dude! They have vents on this damn thing. What? <laughs> Man. Wow. Yeah, ooh. I'm glad they put it at the minimum. Ooh, that's tight feeling. Like, oh god, it's so heavy, right? It's like all of this is so freaking heavy. You could, oh, yeah! <laughs> it's probably only 10 pounds, according to the 
box, it was like 10 pounds. When uh, FedEx dropped it off and you see the package of what it's waist, that feels heavier than 10 pounds, man. No, I can't, I can't do it with one hand, I can't do it. Wow, that's cool. Here, I'll let y'all see this. Oh, man. Oh. Wow, look at that. You have a good view of that. Look, you see, they see yourself. Woo! <laughs> that's gotta be something, huh? Yeah, maybe we'll go this way. Dang. Oh, God. Look at vents. So you can get some. Get to see those. They're on both sides. Man, this sucker's heavy. Damn, this sucker's heavy. No, man, this is the heaviest one I've felt since. I mean, uh, before. Get you guys a view of the ports. Maybe y'all can take a photo. Cha ching yeah, there's ports there. And there's those ports that I think I'm showing you. Wow. Yeah, I'll leave this one here now. That's a good idea. He scratches. Wow, okay. Guitar, vocal, multi FX, which is FX process. So, no, it's just a toggle. It needs to be called an encoder. I figured this one here, the main one, that does all the function would be like a joystick. Just a bit, it go up and down. And it doesn't, I mean, it moves, but it's not supposed to, I think. So you got amp cloning. Oh, this is, oh, this is the stick, right. Amp cloning, Wi-Fi enabled, cloud enabled, streaming, so it says, I was gonna say steaming. Streaming music. Practical tool, Bluetooth, and more. Uh, not bad. It could be tighter. This one definitely feels looser. Yeah, that feels nice and tight. That feels in the snug. So maybe they're not like. Well, that one feels. That's the tightest. The phones is the tightest. That's different. This is the loosest. The auxiliary. Mains are in between tightness. Mm -hmm. Sure, let's check the little uh, door off. That's what this would be. The, uh, the metal the bag, right? Yeah, the that's a trash in the bag, and I threw it away. I mean, it smells cool. Like over here, like a computer, like a brand new laptop smell from the vet, I assume, because they, of course, they tested it and all that. Well, maybe not this one, I don't know. I figured they would probably test each one. $1,300 a pop, so for this damn thing, dude. The, um, <sighs> Boss GT1000 was like $1,120, I mean, $1,199 or something. Basically twelve hundred bucks. So I mean, I did get rid of it. I don't have it, so I can do the comparison because at the time I'm like, you know what? I'll just take this down. I can use the money for now. Um, I ended up selling it to uh, Guitar Center, and I got four hundred twenty-five or something like that for it. And yeah, I paid in a, in a pain. I'm paying a little bit still, but I paid twelve hundred bucks for it. <laughs> A place that I went to before locally, he keeps talking about, hey, I don't mean to insult your intelligence because I sold that store, my um, the Digitech RP500 that I had. And he told me the same thing. I'm not trying to insult you because he was lowballing me on pricing. Well, we could actually have it in the store uh, for, um, you know, storefront and sell it and then it'll be here and then you'll compensate us with a percentage of what the proceeds when we sell it for what you want it for, you know, that type of bullshit. Or you can sell it to us directly and we'll put it on our reverb. <laughs> he's not on eBay, he's on reverb. Anyways, old man, I mean, that's all it is. It's the times and the way people were thinking and not thinking when it comes down to finances. You're a business owner. And, and I don't understand people, they're just 
dark entities, man. It's pathetic. They don't. They don't. Oh, what's your reaction? I love it here. We're not even touch the. Ooh, ten minutes. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think I was. I'm not gonna have I thought I was not gonna be able to push this down. Wow. That freaking tight. Oh, okay. And do that. It's a soft push. It's a little mag magnetic or something. Man, that's tight. I like that. I would definitely, I, I like using volume. I mean, I always turn off my volume on the guitar too, but this would be better. Because I just like, if I'm playing, or I got a phone call in between, it's all right, I can just turn it off and have the guitar like, oh yeah, what the fuck you want? <laughs> now I smell it now over here. It just has a scent. Right. Let's see any more street down there, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't put one on that little thing. I guess for the specific screen, not the digital um, seven segment display. Oh, yeah, I know about seven segment displays, buddies. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything feels pretty good. You know what? I am missing something. Uh, What the heck is the power cord? Huh? No shit, they didn't give me a supply of power cord? Oh no! Oh no! You bastards! Seriously? Hang on. No power cord! You got this USB! Nope, they didn't give me a power cord! They boxed it! Boxed it. I mean, it looked like a brand new box. You know, no reseal looking. And they didn't have a power cord? What? Head rush. What the hell's wrong with you? Seriously? No power cord? Oh. What? Oh, man. Okay, I can see for getting the that, the USB cord, but you didn't, I mean, I can get one. I had to go somewhere locally to get one. But still, it sucks. I gotta go out in the heat and it's already warm in here because my AC's down right now. Damn. No power cord, you bastards. Damn. So if I wanted to hook it up right now, I have to use I don't even know if I have that anymore. I have to go to this thing because I think I got rid of those. I have to pull the one either from my computer or something else if I have it. If not, go get one. You bastards, man. Oh, you bastards. Ah, oh, that pissed me off. Like, out of all the different shit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, it is what it is. But I'm going to leave that right there, man. That's my reaction video, y'all. Freaking... The worst thing, of course, is just what I noticed. No power cord? How can you? <laughs> ah! Head rush, what are you doing? You're just rushing them out. Head rush! <laughs> Man, all right. That's it. That's all I needed to do right now, y'all. Oh, so we might be the play. Oh, that's a disappointment, man. <laughs> man. All right, but other than that, it looks good. I don't know if these are all torqued down exactly, but they look, they're not, they, they do look flushed. Hmm, not bad, I like the designs. So we got the mic, the mic input, the auxiliary out, the guitar in, of course you're setting on the return. You got a mono on the left. Oh, you got phones, auxiliary, the outputs, you know, this FX input. Who even got a mini? Wow. What's your USB? So you got Exhaust, do not block. Okay, that's the exhaust. So you got a USB, 
and then you got your, uh, oh, I'm thinking RJ45. No, J RJ45? I guess that's what the cable link would be considered to USB. I can't remember if that's right or not. It just popped in my head there. Man, it's solid though. I mean, these could be a little bit taller. I guess it's not bad to be low profile look. Looks good though. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. The next few videos I'll probably do. Um, I might be too excited like I am now. I'll be like, yeah, it's just on spot stuff, right? I gotta play with this and figure this out. Man. I don't think I can think of right now for cord just to check it is to see my power cord from my computer. Unplug the computer and plug it in here. Oh, maybe I can do the printer, I think. Yeah, I think I can do the printer. But either way, I know a place that has a barrel full of them that I buy for like two bucks or something. Called Free Geek in Fayetteville, Arkansas. It's just a good 30 minute drive. At least I'll have AC in my car. <laughs> but y'all, th thanks for viewing my video here, you guys. Again, thumb up the video. Just, I don't know, comment about something about the video or relating to something else. That's what I do. I just convert, convert, conversate. I'm also on Twitter if you don't want to do that. Now I am. <clears throat> I'm not really big on the idea, but now since I'm a division, getting their information about the game, with all the bullshit that goes on, bad. <laughs> and great game except for all the crashes. Seriously, all the downtime, I mean, it's been five years and still got all this crap going on. Like, come on, y'all. Come on. Division, what's wrong with you? Anyways, um, Mega D Mac. So, M I G I, hang on. <laughs> I can't even spell it in my head. M I G A D I. Mega D, Mega D, Mac, M A C. I just, that's my Twitter account. You can send me posts there and stuff there. Um, I'll probably put it in the um, description here since now I'm on Twitter. And that's it, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. View more content. Got this stuff, guitar, electronic, boom. Um, what am I talking about? A car? I talk about guitar, music, stuff that I do, and my computer, gaming. I don't do too much in video, the gaming itself, that's, that'll be totally new. Uh, doing that, screen sharing, and I, mean, I haven't done that ever before. <laughs> so that'll be something new for me to do. AMD all the way, boy. Boys and girls, should I say. AMD, Intel and God, I'm not, I don't care. I don't care how cheap it is. I, mean, I, I, I use Intel many years ago. They're okay. And I knew how expensive always AMD is. But you know what? The performance is always there with AMD. Sure is. But yeah, thanks for viewing, guys.